In this quick little video, we're going to discuss two things, how to analyze a vertical drop and how to analyze a banked 180 degree turn. So if you turn to this page in your packet, we'll get started. And let's start with vertical drops. We won't say much about this because it's definitely the simpler of the two. It's a basic incline plane. The only design parameter you need to do is the angle of the incline theta here in the diagram. So you just simply decide how you want your riders to feel when they go down the first drop. Do you want a real bruiser of a drop at an 89 degree angle? Or do you want something a little bit more gentler, uh, like a kitty ride, a 30 degree angle? And then just do the incline plane analysis, find the parallel and perpendicular using your equations. The parallel component will be the net force, calculate the acceleration using net force and mass, and then the number of g's will be determined by taking the normal force, also known as the perpendicular component of gravity, and dividing that by the force of gravity. You can do this one, I'm sure. Good luck to you. Now, the more difficult analysis is this banked 180 degree turn. The two design parameters that you have to decide upon are theta and r. Um, in order to analyze the physics of this, um, I'm going to show you a little slideshow. Uh, here's a picture of our car on an inclined plane, a banked turn. Now, normally when we see a car on an inclined plane, it slides down the incline. But that's not going to be the case for the, our situation, in which we have a car on a banked turn, because it's actually moving at the time. And while it might want to go down the incline, friction is going to hold it on the plane. But what we can do is we can think of the free body diagram as being a gravity force and a normal force going perpendicular to the track. Now I want to analyze this in such a manner that I can determine such things as the number of g's and eventually the radius and the banking angle, the two design parameters for this situation. So to begin with, I'm going to think of the normal force as having two components. And this is a little unusual for an inclined plane. Usually because it slides down the inclined plane, we break the normal force up into F parallel and F perpendicular, or the gravity force up into F parallel and F perpendicular, uh, so that all forces components are in the direction of acceleration and perpendicular to that direction. But here our car is going to accelerate towards the center. So I need the components to be horizontally towards the center and vertically perpendicular to that acceleration. So from these components, what you can tell, and this is important, that the F gram is going to be equal to the F Y component. They're going to have to balance because there's no vertical acceleration. But the F X component, why that's our net force. And so we can calculate F net if we can somehow determine the value of F X. And here's how you might do it. The physics would tell us that the angle of incline theta right here is the same as the angle between the Fy and the F normal force. So I'm going to need to use that information in order to calculate what theta I need to create the experience that I desire to have. So the two design parameters are radius and the banking angle. And here's how I suggest you calculate it. First of all, decide on the number of Gs you want your riders to experience. Now, there's a, uh, there's a safety parameter here. The number of Gs for a bank turn can be no more than 3 Gs. So once you decide what sort of ride you want, or experience you want the riders to have, uh, you have determined the number of Gs. You might say, well, this is going to be the most incredible coaster ever, and I'm going to use 3 Gs. You can calculate the normal force, since the number of Gs is equal to F norm divided by F grab. And then once you get this normal force value, what you're going to do is step three here. You're going to calculate the theta value from knowledge of the normal force and the F grab. Remember that Fy is balancing F grab. And so what I can presume is that there's this right triangle right here, and I know two sides. So from those two sides, I can calculate theta. Once I get the value of theta, I can calculate the value of fx, because after all, this fx value is a horizontal side of the same triangle. I can, use, I can either use a tangent, a cosine function, uh, or a sine function, or just Pythagorean theorem to do this at this point. So calculate your fx value, and this fx value is the net force. It's the part of the forces that don't get balanced. So calculate the acceleration as F net over M. Now that you know your acceleration, you can determine the final design parameter required to produce this experience of, say, 
three g's of fours by using the equation a equal v squared over r. You calculated the acceleration up here in step five, and you know the speed from your energy analysis. So plug into the a equal v squared over r in order to calculate the r value. And once you've done all that, you'll be able to fill in all of this table. We really worked it from the right side of the table working towards the left side. Good luck to you.